Weather for Weather Geeks. It's the Mahoning and Shenango Valley's most in-depth weather video. And welcome back, everyone. It's Monday evening. Hope you had a good weekend. What a weekend it was weather-wise. Just remarkable. And today, uh, more of the same. Just a really, really awesome stretch of weather for this time of the year. Much more like April or even early May with these types of temperatures. So a lot of this video, of course, is going to focus on the lack of cold and the warmth. But we are going to take a look at the... Uh, the changeable weather pattern as we head towards the weekend, and we'll take a look at the uh, longer range. I have some new model information uh, in this evening uh, when it comes to the longer range outlook, so we'll talk about that. But yeah, there's not a flake of snow to be found anywhere on the ground in Ohio and central and western PA, western New York even, up in the snow belt areas, uh, even up there. We're not seeing any snow on the ground aside from maybe a few nooks in the in the shade, the north facing areas, but that is about it. This is a sparse looking snow depth map for this time of the year, that is for sure. So, uh, you know, no surprise considering how warm it has been. All right, we're climbing the list of warmest Februaries on record in Youngstown. Right now, uh, we are in a tie for fifth place with uh, 1938 running 5.6 degrees above average. The uh, warmest February, 1932, tied with 1998 in that very strong El Nino winter of 97-98. It was exceptionally warm in the uh, in the month of February. We're going to keep climbing this list this week because we're going to be so far above average all the way through Friday. We'll have no trouble uh, continuing climbing very quickly up this list. We hit 59 today at the airport, uh, one shy of our forecast of 60. The average high at this time of the year is 37 degrees. That sounds cold, but that's just what the average is. Uh, the record today, uh, out of reach, 65. Notice when that record occurred? Last year. So uh, last couple of winters have featured a lot of days like that. Uh, record territory has been has been breached a few different times. Most of the uh, action across the country this evening is on the West Coast and across the Mississippi Valley. Things are pretty quiet here. Locally, of course, some high cirrus clouds made for a nice sunset this evening. Actually, we had a really nice sunrise this morning as well, thanks to anyone who sent in pictures this morning. Had some great pictures sent in to us. A nice sunset this evening thanks to these high clouds. Now, as this system continues pushing east, it's going to weaken, but it is going to cause the clouds to continue to thicken up as we go into the day tomorrow, tomorrow is not going to be as sunny as most of uh, of today was. But still, that's not going to stop the temperatures from rising quickly. Uh, temperatures tomorrow make it into the lower and middle 60s. Uh, this front is a pretty sorry excuse for a front. It's going to be weakening. Might be a shower towards the end of the day. But if you want to take another walk or a jog in Mill Creek uh, Park tomorrow, most things outdoors will be just fine, even though it won't be quite as sunny as today. Most things will be just fine until very late in the afternoon, into the evening, and even that's just real spotty showers. Now, there could be a little touch of drizzle and some light rain later Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Wednesday could start out kind of gloomy looking, but in the afternoon, I'm expecting the sky to try to brighten, and that will, again, send temperatures off to the races. And we're still well into the, the warm sector here on Thursday, so again, while it's not going to be a bright and sunny day on Thursday, I don't think it's going to rain much. I think a lot of this rain depicted on our model here it's probably overdone and it's probably a little too far north with this I, I think there could be a shower thursday really not expecting much more than that and our modeling is showing you know just very little rain in the next uh, couple of days uh, under a quarter of an inch on every model even less than a tenth of an inch on most of our modeling so a uh, good week to get the car washed because you're not going to get much in the way of a free car wash from Mother Nature. Here's a look at the forecast and the records for the rest of the week. Tomorrow's record is safe. It's 71, set in 1997. Wednesday's record, it'll be a close call, our forecast 63. Thursday's record, a close call, our forecast 65. Now, I think Friday will break the record with room to spare. Uh, you know, I've jacked it up to 71 for the high on Friday. The uh, record 67 set back in 1961. So that's when the warmth will peak, right before our cold front comes through for uh, the start of the weekend. Now, incidentally, that front on Friday might uh, produce some heavy, gusty thunderstorms, probably not around here, but western Ohio into Indiana, Illinois, this could be a, you know, kind of a an early season severe weather outbreak for parts of the lower Ohio Valley on Friday. I think we're too far to the east to be concerned about that. I think as the front comes through late Friday night into Saturday morning, there could be some gusty showers, but I'm not real concerned about severe weather. Here's a look at the 10-day temperature trend. You'll notice a lack of below average temperatures here. Now, it is going to retreat back to average by Sunday for one day. <laughs> and Saturday, actually, the high temperature is a little deceiving because that'll occur probably at midnight. Temperatures Saturday afternoon will be back in the 30s. So technically, the afternoon temperature Saturday might be below average by a couple of degrees. 
but uh, for the calendar day, uh, the high will be above average. But Sunday, a typical diurnal curve on Sunday, our warmest part of the day will be the afternoon, and it'll be pretty close to where we should be in mid to late February. But then next week, well, it's not going to be as warm as this week. Next week, it looks mild again. I mean, we could see 50 or better a couple of times next week. Wouldn't shock me at all. Uh, but things will peak on Friday. I think it could be as much as 32 or 33 degrees above the average coming up on Friday. All right, I mentioned that front for the weekend. Uh, here's the front Friday evening. Again, could be some heavy storms. Cincinnati to Louisville, maybe Dayton as well. And then the front rolls through first thing Saturday morning. Now you notice the GFS here actually has some snowflakes mixing in before Saturday is through. That's not implausible. I, I, I think there could be a, a snowflake scene somewhere before Saturday is through, which is a pretty abrupt change considering Friday's high is 71. I, I think Sunday is the calmer half of the weekend, less wind, and probably some sunshine as well. All right, hot off the presses, here's the European weekly uh, uh, long-range forecast broken down by weeks. Uh, we're above average next week. Here's the 11 to 18 day. Notice the cold building across Canada, the western U.S., parts of the upper Midwest, but it has a hard time coming south and east. So here's days 14 to 21. So we're getting into that second week of March. Probably a somewhat typical, maybe slightly below te average temperature regime for us, but the heart of the cold's way off to our north and west. And then the, the modeling tries to warm it up again significantly for the middle and latter portions of March. So uh, I think the bottom line for March, and this isn't the only modeling that's showing this idea, is a uh, continuation of the winter pattern. Occasionally it'll get cold for a day or two at a time, maybe three. But that's the exception. The rule is mild. So that's what I'm thinking for March right now. We'll do a finalized March forecast in about oh five, six days. Uh, there's only 28 days in February. So uh, today's the 20th. So, you know, we're coming up on a week to go left in the month. We'll do an official March outlook just before we turn the calendar. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks tonight. I'll see you right back here for another edition of this video Tuesday evening. And be sure and check out my seven-day forecast tonight on 21.